Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial featuring one of my favorite colors of the moment, if not of all time. This look is using all rose tones, and especially since spring has officially sprung, I have been living in these warmer pink colors, so if you want to see exactly how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So to kick off this look, I wanted to show you guys a few products that I actually applied off camera just to save a little bit of time. So I started off with this Corez Anti-Aging Primer and I just applied that underneath my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC20 and I'm going to link my last video down below which was a brow tutorial in case you're curious how I fill in my eyebrows. Next I'm reaching for this Naturally Pretty palette by IT Cosmetics and dipping into this color called Sheer Joy. So I'm applying that as my brow highlight with this E54 brush. Next I'm mixing together Beaches and Cream and Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek to create a transition color and I'm buffing that into the crease with an E40 brush so I'm actually bringing it straight in which causes it to go down onto my lid a little bit too which looks kind of weird because it pushes my lid down but it's just a really quick way to apply a color like that. And then I'm taking this color called Mousse from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette and this is like a cool brown so I'm applying that right on top. This time I'm using an E35 tapered crease brush and just applying it the same way just blending it straight into the crease and then I'm going to take this color called truffled which is a darker richer brown on an E25 crease brush and I'm patting that onto the outer third of my lid to build up the color and slowly blending it into the crease as well. Then I'm going to backtrack with my brushes just to dust over everything one time to blend it out. Then I'm going to pick up this beautiful shimmery rosy color called Bon Bon again from the Semi Sweet palette and I'm just packing that all over my lid again with an E54 brush. And then I want to take this eyeshadow called Bitten and this is also by Makeup Geek. This is like a deep burgundy red and I want to get the teeny tiniest bit of that and just sweep it over the darker brown in the crease. So this is going to add again another element of rosiness into the look without it being full on red. And then I just go back and forth with that color and the darker brown a few times. When you stick your fingernail into your eyeshadow palette, ugh the worst. So here I'm just touching up with that Bon Bon color, that rose gold, and then I want to take this pressed pigment by MAC. This is called Pink Pepper, and I'm applying that with some Fix Plus and just patting that right on top of that other rosy shade. This is going to add a little bit of a foiled look, and then after it sets in about 20 minutes, you're going to see this gorgeous sparkle coming through as well. So here I'm applying my under eye concealer. This is a flat concealer brush so that I don't have to get my fingers dirty. And I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 to start off, but I ran out of it so I don't have a clip. But then I took this Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair and added that on top just to make the perfect color for my skin tone. And then I'm just going to blend that all out with a, with a damp beauty blender. <laughs> eh, you guys know the deal. I'll just let you watch. So I definitely feel like these warmer pinks have almost become a neutral for me in a way, but one tip for pulling them off, I feel like these colors work a lot better with brown eyeliner versus black eyeliner or black eyeshadow. So here I'm applying the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in brown into my lower waterline. And then I'm gonna take that darker brown, that truffled eyeshadow, and just start running it underneath my lower lash line with a tiny, a tiny shader brush. So I'm really packing that color into the outer corners and then I'm going to go over top with the lighter brown called Mousse on an E70 brush just to finish off that inner part of the lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to apply Sheer Joy from the Naturally Pretty palette and on top of that, the Mary Luminizer from the Balm to create just a really bright glowy highlight. And then I'm going to apply my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara onto my upper and lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer quickly to keep it from creasing. So I'm going to use this lighter color from my NARS Olympia 
contour blush duo and just tap that over top of my concealer with this real technique setting brush then I can add the rest of my mascara and my false lashes so today I'm using the Bambi lashes by house of lashes these are actually different shades of brown so again they're just a little bit softer and I feel like they work with this look really well so then I'm gonna set my foundation with this makeup forever pro finish powder foundation I'm using the shade 120 neutral ivory and just dusting that onto my skin with this brush by Real Techniques. It's from their Bold Metals collection, number 100, and I am obsessed with these brushes. Then I wanna bronze my skin using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun, and I'm applying that with uh, my favorite bronzing brush. This is a Sigma F10 brush, and just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, a little bit on my forehead, and bringing it down onto my jawline a little bit as well. Then moving on to one of my favorite little products of the moment, this is the Pro Sculpting Duo by Makeup Forever and this is number two golden. So I'm gonna take the darker side and just get it on this F08 brush and start lately applying that to my contour areas just to kind of sculpt out my face even more. And I feel like this darker shade works a lot better as a contour color versus using it as an all over bronzer. And then I'm gonna move on to my blush color. So I'm using a combination of these two blushes. Starting off with Warm Soul by MAC. This one is kind of like a peachy golden color. And then I'm gonna take Tea Rose by Milani and apply that right on top, kind of more towards the front of the apples of my cheeks this time, using that same Real Techniques blush brush. And then after I blend the inner edge of my blush, I'm gonna take the lighter color from that Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and I'm going to apply that onto my cheeks. This is an amazing, like, golden, honey, amber highlight color, and I love it so much. But of course, I couldn't resist adding in a little bit of my Mary Luminizer too. I know so many face products in this video, you don't have to use this many, but I'm a sucker for highlighters, what can I say? But I do feel like the Mary Luminizer by The Balm works so nicely on those highest points of the face because it is such a pale light color. So I like to take it on a little fan brush and dust my cupid's bow and then take a little bit more on my finger for more intensity and tap it on. And then I'm taking my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. This is kind of just the lip liner I use with every lip color. It just really does work with everything. So you can see how I fill in the shape of my lips here. I like to really round out the bottom of my lip for more of a pouty effect. And then you can see I do overdraw my upper lip, but only at the cupid's bow, not the whole way across. And then I'm gonna take my Dose of Color Soft Touch Lipstick and apply that on top. Then I took my Milani Matte Lipstick in Blissful and I just dab that on top just to infuse some of that blush color into the look. I actually love this combination, just how it is right here. But I usually do like to add a gloss, so you could keep it like this, or you could add a lighter gloss like I did. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Gloss in the color Forbidden Nude. This product has practically been all I've been wearing on my lips for the past month straight. I'm not even exaggerating. I love this lip gloss so much. So here's the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this rose tone theme makeup look. I feel like this would be really great for spring or even a night out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you very soon in my next video.